Welcome back. Last episode, we were in London, home to Mother's Ruin, Mistress Jin, two men who adore her, and an old lady with a controversial cocktail. This time, we head to Cheddar, birthplace of the world's least controversial cheese, Cheddar. A cheese so ubiquitous that if a menu says, with cheese, there's almost no other type it could be referring to. But what of the significantly less famous tasty place it originates from? Welcome to Cheddar, a tiny Somerset village nestled between the boulders of Cheddar Gorge, astride the trickling waters of the River Yeo. This picturesque hamlet is home to another cheesy export, 80s boy band Bross, whose hit song, When Will I Be Famous, hints at a rivalry with their hometown's creamy delights. Another notable resident is Cheddar Man, not a dairy superhero, but a 9,000-year-old skeleton who is also more famous than Bross. I visited the Cheddar Gorge Cheese Company, the last remaining producer in town, to chat with owner John. After offering me a deal on a 28 kilogram wheel... Retail, something like that would cost just over 500 pounds. 500 pounds, there you go. John tried to explain to me how much milk they use for the 70 tonnes of golden deliciousness his three staff make each year. You get about one kilo of cheddar from every 10 litres of milk. Okay, right, right. So you can do the math. No, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody watching will work that out. Of course, it would be rude not to try all of the styles on offer. Their rich classic is aged in the caves of Cheddar Gorge, which maintain the ideal maturing conditions, while their tangy blue cheddar was an unintentional discovery when a broken wheel developed some mould in its cracks. My favourite? A unique creation with a non-specific yeast extract, since Marmite wouldn't license the use of their name. In search of something more substantial, I strolled upstream to the world's oldest cheddar cheese shop. Open since 1870, they've been serving cheese for however many years that would be. And this is the amazing cave age cheddar. It's 18 months aged to perfection. And I'm just about to give it a try with a little bit of locally produced Somerset cider chutney. So let's give it a go. Mm. Very good. Very creamy and not too sharp. I'll wash it down with a bit of this Firkin Strong, which is the name of the, the brand. Firkin Strong Farmhouse Cheddar Scrumpy. That's a real treat. So if you ever find yourself in Cheddar, please come and visit the original Cheddar Cheese Company and grab one of their Plowman's lunches. You won't regret it. With the cheese as versatile as cheddar, it's probably the only thing that could make boiled celery, another British delicacy, actually edible. But rather than waste it on soggy veg, the best way to worship this Jesus of cheeses is in the humble toasty. With a generous smear of non-specific yeast extract, of course. So while I tuck into this, it's time for you to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the next part of our journey to Rioja in Spain, where we discover the wine that's worth waking up from a siesta for unless it happens to be the whole reason you were asleep in the middle of the day to begin with. Until then, just remember, there's nothing quite as satisfying as eating local food. Ooh, hot, hot.